Councillor Davy was driving up the laneway to his home when a number of gunmen ambushed him. His wife Mary was in the house awaiting his arrival when she heard the shots. Mr. Davy had escaped a similar murder bid a year ago. And I just went all numb. I knew there was something. I thought they were shooting at the windows and coming into the house and immediately then put on the, the siren that we have. Because I will let her keep them at bay. Maybe they'll hear this and they'll, you know, get frightened or something. And then uh, somebody came running to the door and there was a meeting on in the Gaelic Hall and somebody, and I knew then that my husband was shot dead because he was shot in the lane. Mr. Davy was interned in 1956 and 1971. A fellow Mahara Felt Sinn Féin councillor, Mr. Louis McGill of Regia, said that some of the facts around Mr. Davy's killing were disturbing. He claimed his car was stopped with its handbrake on when he was killed, giving rise to the belief that he had stopped at a checkpoint. In recent months, there have been a number of attacks on Sinn Féin members and their families in the Mid Ulster area. In one, Mr. Phelan McNally, the brother of a Sinn Féin councillor, was shot dead in November. Mr. Davies' murder brought to it the number of people killed by paramilitary organisations in Northern Ireland this year. Of those eight, five have been killed by loyalists. After internal feuds over racketeering, the UDA leadership was changed last year. The RUC have uncovered a number of loyalist weapons, but believe that many are still in circulation as the paramilitaries seem intent on escalating a murder campaign.